Hey, what's up? I'm the Leo King, celebrity astrologer David Palmer. And you might be asking yourself, what is a celebrity astrologer? Am I an astrologer and do I do astrology just for celebrities? You know, being a celebrity astrologer is about embodying a lot. Not only being an astrologer and of course doing readings for celebrities, but it's about connecting the astrologer aspect to the media, to the world. You know, embodying the model part of myself or the TV personality that I've been in my life to connect to this 21st century and to connect to this new world with social media and with television. And Hollywood is tapping into the spirit world through psychics. Celebrities want to find their power of self. Untold with Maria Menounos, tonight at 8 on E! Especially, astrologers have been around for thousands of years on royal courts. They've been doing it for kings and queens. I mean, bringing the astrologer back into society. It's almost like being an astrologer has been axed out and we've been kind of put into our own little weird world. And I think that it's very important to utilize, you know, all the aspects of connecting to what we think of celebrity and pop culture and bringing these ancient science practices and all this wisdom to the mainstream world. And that's why, you know, building a studio like this here at the Leo King Studios and High Vibe Studios has been part of it, to be able to create my own networks, to create my own content. And a Taurus is gonna have their worth and be a little bougie like you, and it will work out. You can't go with a cheap person or somebody who doesn't know their worth. Guys who don't have self-worth is your biggest turnoff. That is! If you're not a confident man, get to step in. I can't deal. I can't deal. And then as time went by, I went on another big reality show called ABC True Beauty and I went on and I said, you know what, I'm going to tell the world I'm an astrologer. It's time. It's time to really own this. Because you have to remember being an astrologer is a little scary. You have uh, religious people who think you're the devil and then you have the scientific community who think you're schizophrenic. So there's this element of dealing with this aloneness in many ways of like having to have the courage to follow what a lot of people think is a belief, kind of like religion, which it's not. Astrology is a bridge between the spiritual and the science energy and bringing them together. And celebrity astrologer David Palmer, who is also known as Leo King. I like that, Leo King. So David, welcome to the show. Hey, thanks for having me on, Steve. Uh, that was an amazing reading that you gave, man. It, what, what, what information does someone learn uh, from a reading. What I'm trying to show people is that it's all divine. There's divine timing in life, there's divine synchronicities, mm -hmm. and I help people see that when they were born so they can align and understand their life better, and it's good for helping people with knowing how to go down the right roads and not the wrong roads in life, because we have that choice. Celebrity astrologer David Palmer, also known as the Leo King, is back with us. So his astrology guide is a hot seller right now on Amazon. We talked earlier about um, the modern approach to the age-old practice of astrology. So now let's look into the future. So David, what does the future hold for us? You said in our last segment, this week's gonna be a big one. This week's huge. We got a Mercury retrograde coming in Pisces, which makes things really confusing. At the same time, the planet Uranus is gonna come into Taurus like it did in 1934, which was like the rise of Hitler, the total change in all, all the agreements with the world mm -hmm. and world power shifting. But the big thing's President Trump. He's got a pretty intense situation going on in his life. A lot of people look at it, whether it's from the government and the court stuff that's going on or whether or not he's colluded. But the big thing is there's going to be so much confusion in the world. He's going to be having to take on confusing information while being kind of attacked at the same time. So the mental stress is the biggest one. Is he going to mentally be able to handle it? Astrologist David Palmer, aka the Leo King, who is joining us again here on ET Live. I know. I'm Thanks so glad for to coming be here. back. We yeah. appreciate having you, especially during Mercury retrograde. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Did you? Yeah. Literally, the elevator on the way up was going up. No, it went down. <laughs> You got in the building, you're here on set. I made it. You made it. I mean, all right, it's Aries season. Mm -hmm. So, well, the reality TV, the first one was 2005. Mm -hmm. I did a show uh, on MTV called Parental Control. And back then, that was like the first of reality. Real World was the first reality mm -hmm. show. And then it was these dating shows that MTV brought out. But they were very extreme. And they were all LA, Orange County based because yeah. that was where they got all their talent. And so we got reruns all the time. And then I did Next with the Next Bus where it's like, five guys or five girls in a bus, and then the person who's gonna pick the dates can basically 
have five choices and just say next, uh, okay. next. It was, big, it was a really big show. <laughs> So MTV had me do both of them back to back. So right. I was on two shows replaying all the time. Mm -hmm. And that was where I was like, if I combine this with astrology, there's something there. It's all about not being afraid of learning and having expectations of going through a whole season. The way that my writing style is, is really aggressive and really fast, and I like to do that as clean as possible. I don't know if it's really like motorcycle riding, I'd say it's, it's jet skiing, baby. I guess that's what I'm part of, being a celebrity astrologer. Oh well, yeah, but that term celebrity astrologer, it seems to trigger people, including people who don't know astrology. So I've had to deal with that my whole life. But the one thing I want to really focus on here is how does one get taught how to manifest and know their uniqueness without looking at the uniqueness that you were born with, the uniqueness of how to understand what's going on in the world. I mean, the ancients used it forever. But I want to take you on a little stroll. Yeah, it's wonderful. I've manifested so many of my dreams. It's ridiculous, actually. I actually don't think about it, though. You know, anybody that's made it in their life, trust me. When we take off the covers to our car, there's still dust. It's never fully clean. It's never fully perfect. Are you taking a cover off your car? You know, I remember when I beat Jay Leno out on this car. That was exciting for me, but it really is not something that I just sit there and tout off to the world all day. Trust me, it comes with more problems than good, but it's really about whatever you want to manifest. To me, this is what I wanted to manifest in my life. But there's a lot more to it than this. There's so much more because you have to keep it consistent to maintain these kind of things in life, to have the dream. Let me tell you, nobody's teaching you how to get it. A lot of people seem to think just, it's like you just make a bunch of money and you go walk into Best Buy and you buy the TV you want. You just walk into AMG and say you want that AMG. You walk into Shelby and you get that Shelby. I wish it was as easy as that. And you know what? You've got to pay attention to what's actually going on on the inside of who you are and see if even this is what you're supposed to manifest. It's all so unique and we all get this one image that's sent to us of what success is in the world and that's not actually what it is. It's the uniqueness of being yourself without being a sellout to yourself or selling yourself out to others. All right. Wow. Wow. I was so exhausted, but his music, God dance, right? It was wonderful. He rocks it, boy. I tell you, it is always my pleasure. Uh, I'm Sheila Moore, co-founder. Been here since before we began. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, well, you know, I love this event. This year has been better than ever. And one of the reasons is because of presenters like David. <laughs> I love David Palmer. David has always, just always been there whenever I've reached out to him. And it's just such, so, such a pleasure working with him. And it's such a pleasure to bring him, Leo King, here to you. Live. I know many of you have watched him on High God TV. Exactly. The best app out there, right? Astrological app. All the wonderful people that he has. All the fabulous information. We love him. So let's just like bring the house down. Give a wonderful welcome to David Palmer, the Leo King.
good to be with you all. I'm not going to try and scare too many people today. It's not a high mansion, although it is a moon in Scorpio and a, the sun in Aquarius. But tonight we're going to be talking about prophecy. Unmasking the world, that's what we put out there, but I had to be a little secret. Conscious Life Expo was like, you know, what are you going to be talking about exactly? And I'm like, well, how can I put this to where I don't scare the whole entire universe? But the main thing is, why is prophecy and astrology is prophet? Right? We look at the prophecies, we are prophets. Whether you're into astrology or not, the psychic energy, the energy where we're looking into the future is prophecy. But we've lived in a world for the last, let's say, it's been a little over 100 years now where it was like, eh, let's not let fall that anymore. Okay. And I'm going to come to right? not a conclusion, but an open-ended aspect. But you all know me. You watch me because I give you the, the real thing at the end. And you're, no, this is what it's going to be. <laughs> yeah, there's no sugarcoating. And that's what we're going to be talking about today. So we only have an hour and a half, and you all know me. It's going to be a lot. It's going to be intense, and it's going to be nonstop. There's no time for putting your mind somewhere else and thinking about your Facebook or your Instagram or especially those TikTokers out there. <laughs> to bridge both these together as a celebrity astrologer, to connect with people, to make it fun, to make it poppy, to make it inspirational, to make it edgy, but also at the same time bring that depth. So there's definitely two parts of me. And don't you ever forget about my depth or my crazy radical fun that I know how to bridge together. Up there, like, yeah. <laughs> sit down and stand up. I know. 